As the fight entered the halfway stage, the outcome was no longer in doubt. If a 6,000 foot altitude has a serious effect on boxers, Freddie Mills didn't show it. What followed was a nightmare for the South African and only served to prove that he can take it. Downed five times during the round, Johnny Ralph weathered the storm and even mustered the courage and strength for the brave gesture, dazed and battered as he was, of trotting back to his corner when the gong finally came to his aid. The seventh round couldn't last. Yet when Ralph slipped again, Mills actually helped him up and took him to rub his feet in the resin in his own corner. It was undoubtedly sporting, particularly as it gave Ralph a few more precious seconds to recover. But it also showed that Freddie Mills had no qualms about his own ability to win the fight. Freddie Mills made up his mind that the fight had gone far enough. As Lynn McLaughlin and Tom Holstock got the stricken Ralph back to his corner, the crowd gave his victor a well-deserved ovation. He had shown himself a worthy world champion. Johnny had shown the heart of a lion. <laughs>